Today on Laser Engraving 911, we're going to talk about jigs. We're going to talk about how to jig up different items, um, particularly for large volume runs, and or kind of medium to large volume runs, and the different processes for creating jigs on your laser bed. So whether that's a fiber laser, like this one, so we're going to be using this as an example, or a CO2 laser like this one. This method works. But something really special that I'm going to show you today is some magic on the fiber laser for creating a super fast jig that is permanent and very easy to make and very quick. Now I do need to say a disclaimer. You do have to have some um, skills with Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw to be able to do this. So let's go through a typical way you would jig up stuff on a fiber laser. One of the ways that a lot of people use is they have a pin board like this and they have an object <clears throat> like this divot tool right here and say you've got 200, 300 of these that you need to engrave a logo on. So you could use your pins, come over here, you know, set some pins, set one here, maybe pull this one out, set one here, get this all lined up here, maybe get another pin here, line up another one and set up a little matrix in here. Um, that works, um, but not so well when it's like an odd, odd shaped object with, you know, different curves and points on it and stuff. So what I'm going to show you today is that um, the fiber laser actually uh, being at the wavelength it is reacts to black masking tape really well actually cuts right through it but if you were to take white masking tape or blue masking tape it will not do this you'll have a hard time doing it but with black masking tape this is amazing so let me show you how I make a fast jig on my fiber laser for stuff like this and pretty much any flat object that has different curves and points to it. In the description, I have this item listed uh, so you can figure out where to get it. It's very cheap. And we're gonna, right on the surface of our laser bed, we're gonna create a bed of black masking tape. Like this. I'm trying to do this so you can see it the most. Of course, my hands in the way. But you know, I'm just laying it flat and I'm not overlaying it, I'm just going over the next edge there. We're going to get a nice wide area, so we're going to cut this in just a second. Try to get it as flat as you can. It doesn't matter. All right. So now that we've got that on our bed, we're gonna take our object that we're gonna engrave. I'm gonna put it on here, and I use a focal stick to get my focal point on my particular fiber laser, which is made by LMT Laser Marking Technologies out of Michigan. Great company. Great service, great people. If you want to know where to get a fiber laser It's going to last you a lifetime, hit me up in the comments. I hope you have. Right, focus to my object, as normally, what you do anyway. And now what we're going to do is I want to create a fourplex of these. Basically, I want to create an outline cutout of these. Um, so I can do four at a time, uh, maximum time. My engraving area is four by four with this particular lens on. So to do that, I had to go into Adobe Illustrator and I had to take a photograph of this, import it into Adobe Illustrator and trace the shape of this, right? Or very close to it, as accurate as I can. And I can go over that on another tutorial using Adobe Illustrator. Um, you could do this in Corel Draw, but you need to take a photo of this, a clean photo, face down, and then 
just do the trace outline of this. And that's the part that I said earlier where you need to have some art skills uh, in Illustrator or Corel or whatever your favorite vector program is to be able to draw this shape. But I used the photo and did a layer on top of it and drew with the pen tool the shape and then made sure it was sized appropriately. So what I came up with was this. Here's my screen. And you can see I have a little nest of these pivot tools ready to go on my lasering area. Right here. And what we want to do is we want to cut those out really fast and then peel them away. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it on default settings and I'm using a 50 watt fiber laser. And we're going to do, we're going to set five times. I'm going to go cut through this five times and put on my exhaust fan here. So you have a nice exhaust going out here. I've got a link to this in the description as well. How I set this up. It goes to this quiet inline fan, which is amazing. It goes right out here and right outside. So, and since we're cutting kind of low, I'm going to move my exhaust down a little bit. Okay. So now that we've got this on the screen, got our power at maximum. We're going to set our loop point here. We're going to do five passes. Let's see what happens here. Now watch fast because it's going to happen fast. That was it. So now look what we have here. So what we have is an accurate representation of the shapes about to engrave. What you want to do is you want to grab a little peel tool, whatever you want, and peel that away. Do that. Just like that. One-handed, folks. One hand tied behind my back. And look at that. Those, that is a setup with a repeatable jig, ready to rock and roll. And all I have to do here is paste in the logos, whatever that is. So let me set this back up here. So I already have them copied. So as you can see, I just pasted in those logos. I got one here, one here, one here. And you could have any logo you want. You can just bring in logos, snap it right in here, and then go ahead and select all your logos. I'm holding down shift to select all those. Hatch them. You can hatch that one. Hatch that one too. Alright? And then the last thing we do is we, and I have all these shapes, the divot tool shapes, um, grouped. So I'm going to copy those, delete them, and then look what's left on the screen. Just what I want to engrave. So we'll come down here, do a little check, make sure that everything's all aligned properly. Okay. A little check. Perfect.
But wait, folks, there's more. You can do this with CO2 lasers, too. So we're going to use blue tape on this. You can see right here, I've already designed my shape that I want to lay in there. And one important thing to remember is before I even cut this out, I focused my laser to the shape while it was already in the laser, not to the bed of my CO2 laser. There you can see the cut line. You can see me weeding out the blue tape. You gotta weed it all out so you have a nice fast jig to place your object in. And you go ahead and take your object, put it back in there, and then go over to your computer, lay your artwork, just drag it into your shape there. And it's important to remember to keep it on center center engraved during this process. And turn the power on your vector back down to zero. Your vector cutting, you want to keep that at zero now that you're just going to be engraving, but you want to leave it on combined. And then go ahead and send a print. And what you're going to send over is a vector cut line with no power and an engraving dropped right where it's supposed to be and it will mirror exactly what's on your computer screen. Just as good as a camera, folks. Look at that. Amazing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please do use the links in the description. Uh, those are how I continue to make these videos through my Amazon affiliate links, and your support is greatly appreciated. We'll see you next time on Laser Engraving 911.